Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net and in this video I'm going to give you a few tips that are really going to help you hit a great slice serve. In my opinion, the slice serve is the most important serve to learn as a recreational player. It gives you a ton of control, allows you to hit the ball fast, and it's actually the first serve I want my students to try when learning the continental grip. So let me hit a few slice serves right here. I'm going to try some out wide serves since I'm on the deuce side. When I go to the ad side, I'll hit some down the tee. The goal is to make the ball curve and make it leave the court using the doubles line. And, uh, and then we'll talk about a few tips that are going to help you improve your slice serve. So we'll see how this goes. That was a let. Ooh, that would have been good. Ooh, that was close. A few inches out. Not bad. The goal is to be able to make the ball curve in the air. If you can do that, then you can actually hit angles that you normally wouldn't be able to, hitting topspin and flat serves. So the first tip for you to hit a better slice serve is to use the continental grip. This is what the grip looks like. You want to put the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad on panel number two. If you're a lefty, it looks like this. Same thing though. Base knuckle of your index finger and heel pad on panel two. That is the continental grip. It is so important that you're able to use the continental grip because it gets you leading up to the edge or with the edge toward the ball, which is how you're going to get that ball to rotate. So tip number two, where are you going to toss the ball? If you're used to hitting very flat serves, you're probably used to putting the toss between you and the box, right? So you, you think about where you want the ball to go, and then you think, I'm going to put the ball in between us, and I'm going to swing straight toward the target. Well, what happens typically is when people first learn the continental grip, they put the toss in the same place, and then their ball goes like this. They're like, wait a minute, why is my ball going off to the left as a right-hander? Reverse it if you're a lefty. Why does my ball keep going to the side? It's because you don't want to swing towards your target when you have a continental grip and you're learning to, to spin the ball. What you actually want to do as a right-hander is put the toss off to the right so that you can swing to the right. The ball doesn't go where you swing. The ball goes where your strings point. Right? This is a great illustration of that. The ball is going up. My strings are going up, but my racket's traveling to the side. The ball goes where my strings point, not where my racket travels. Where it travels determines where it spins. So the goal is to toss to the right, swing off to the right. The ball will go left, but left is now the box because I'm swinging off to the right. So you got to toss to the right. So the, the second tip, first tip is continental. Second tip is get the toss off to the side, the direction you're going to swing. So let me hit a few here. I'm going to swing off to the right, but notice where the ball goes. The ball went to the left. Now the ball actually went down the tee because I was exaggerating how much to the right I wanted to swing. But if you notice, it obviously wasn't an exaggeration because I, I swung to the right and the ball went to the tee. It went in the box. So if I swing a little less to the right, then the ball should go out wide, which it did, right? So you want to swing off to the right of your target. Now the ball will not go to the right as long as you lead with the edge. See, when you hit this ball, you don't want to be hitting flat into it, otherwise the ball actually goes <laughs> off the court and into the next tennis court. So what you want is to lead with the edge, which is why we use a continental grip, and we want to lead with the frame as if we're almost going to hit the ball with the edge. But we miss the edge, we miss the edge, and we spin and rub it. I tell my students it's like lemon zest or getting like orange rind for a recipe, right? You're, you got to think of like rubbing the side of that ball, like hit the fuzz so that you get the ball to rotate as it's traveling over the net. That turning of the ball is actually what gets the ball to curve. So we've got the continental grip, we're tossing off to the right, we're swinging off to the right. Last, we want to keep our body facing to the right. I don't want you opening up. Opening up your body is common when you're used to the toss being in front. So you want to Use the continental, toss to the right, swing to the right, and keep your body. That was a bad one, but I don't edit these, as you know. I'm keeping my body facing to the right. If you open up, your ball's going to go way out because you're turning your body toward your target. Don't turn your body toward your target. 
Let me hit a few serves here. I'll hit a few more out wide on the deuce side. And then I'll try actually my favorite serve, which is my down the tee on the ad side. That's actually my favorite serve. All right, so I'll hit a few serves. Continental, toss to the right, swing to the right, keep my body to the right. And the curve should take the ball off the court. a good one. Then the goal is what? I pull my opponent off the court. Hopefully I can get a short ball that then I can come in and rip it up the line and it's that serve plus one idea. It's using your serve to open up the court for the next shot. Way too much. I did not stay sideways enough on that one. I'm gonna keep my body tossed to the right, swing to the right, keep my body to the right this whole time. It was a pretty good one. All right, let me hit a few down the ad side. Now this is the kind of trial and error that you've gotta use when you go out and practice. Look at, go on YouTube and just watch the pros serve. Watch how often they miss. They don't always hit their target. Roger Federer, right, one of the greatest servers of all time, greatest players of all time, and his first serve percentage is around 62% for his entire career. Out of 100 serves, he only makes 62 out of 100? That's amazing. He's almost missing 4 out of 10. So we think of these players as being perfect. So they're not. So when you go out and play and practice, don't expect perfection. Expect that you're gonna work hard, you're gonna persevere, you're not gonna, you're not gonna give up just because it's hard. It, that's what makes it great. It, it's hard, that's what makes achieving things awesome and it makes you feel good. So don't let the fact that it's hard stop you. Of course it's hard, that's why we all try to, we all try to uh, achieve it. So I'm gonna to toss to the right, I'm gonna to, to, the, to the right of my body, I'm gonna to swing to the right of my target, that's gonna spin the ball. And the goal is actually, this is one of my favorite things to try, I like to try to make the ball cross the baseline on the deuce side, that it lands in the box, but it has curve, and the ball goes onto the deuce side as it crosses the baseline. This is actually my favorite serve to hit. There we go. Just takes practice. There we go. That was a good one. That was good too, because that's the last ball I had. <laughs> so, continental grip. You want the continental grip so you're leading up with the edge. That way you're not hitting flat into the ball, but you're able to carve the ball, get the ball to rotate. Toss the ball to the right. If you're a lefty, everything's reversed. You're gonna toss to the left. If you toss to the right, then you can swing to the right. That's what gets the ball rotating. And be sure to control your body, that your body is staying sideways as you do this. So tuck your tossing arm in against the body, cross your arms, I've made a lot of videos on this, cross your arms, power X, like Vic Braden talks about, cross your arms, keep your body to the side, don't open up as you're serving, or it'll make you a lot less accurate. But go out and practice these tips. As you notice, I never pretend to be a pro tennis player. I, I maxed out at a 5.0 level, USTA 5.0 level. Um, I'm basically a four or five tennis player anymore. <laughs> so I don't pretend to be a a professional tennis player when I come out here. And as you notice, I don't edit my mistakes. I show you me learning and working on my game, as you should. Film yourself, practice, work on your slice serve. And if you do, there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. 
You got this.